are two kinds of fears that most people have in life. One is the fear of taking the actions that they know will lead to a massive success in their lives. But the steps they got to take, that's just too scary. Not going to go there. But the other fear is, if you didn't take the actions and some crisis interrupts your whole life flow, how are you going to make it from day to day, to day to year to year? Two basic fears, opposites that can happen by making the critical choice. There are a lot of books out there about 10x in your life. My favorite one is by Grant Cardone, and it's called The 10x Rule. Now, he's mainly focusing on how to build a business that will be extraordinary and you'll have an extraordinary life. He also throws in some incidents that will happen in your life. What I'm talking about today are how to run, how to live your life making choices to 10x your life choices. When you're a little kid, do you ever have a shortage of energy? Have you ever been with a little kid, in case you don't remember that far back? It's go, 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 all day long until finally they conk out. What if you could have energy like that all the time? Well, you know what you do? When you're 10Xing your life, when you're doing what you absolutely love to do in your life, you don't use up your energy in the course of doing it. You get fed more and more. You become more and more alive. Your energy climbs. You've been in a flow at, at least once in your life where just everything, all the ideas come. You don't even have to stop and think. It's as fast as you can accomplish each step. That's 10x in your life. It's getting out of your own way, getting rid of your blocks to having, to being the person you really desire to be, who will think the thoughts, who will take the actions that will lead you someplace you couldn't possibly go otherwise. The choice is always yours. And who don't want to feel fantastic as opposed to feeling cruddy. I have an interesting example. I have lots of them throughout my life because I've lived my whole life that way. Lots of stuff happened. And I had a choice of giving in and having a sad life as a victim or going to make cho choices like when I was nine years old, I've always been a musician and there was an award given out to one person in the school band getting points for different activities. And there was one category where perfect attendance added a whole bunch of points. I don't know, 50, 100 points, whatever it was. I had gotten real sick. I missed a whole lot of school. I didn't get to have the points. It didn't matter that I was sick. I didn't get to have those points. But I knew I wanted that trophy. So what I did was I wrote lots of music. I performed lots of music on clarinet, which wasn't my normal, I write music for clarinet stuff. I usually do it for piano and guitar. Anyway, bottom line is I did every activity I could possibly do. And yes, I won that trophy, but that was my choice. It was something I wanted, so I 10 x my life as a clarinetist in elementary school so I could get it. What is it in your life that you really, really desire, but maybe you're a little bit afraid of it? Set a goal. Okay. If you set a goal, in my opinion, is to keep you on track, because you know what's going to happen when you set a goal. Things, unexpected things are going to pop up in your lifetime and you're going along on your goal path, only boop, there's a blip in the road and you got to make a turn. 
and you're going along and you've made up for the new direction. And, oh, there's another blip and making another turn. I call them detours, except they're not detours. They're taking you where it's optimal for you to go in life. And when you can get out of your own way, it will become crystal clear to you. What do I mean by get out of your own way? Nonstop coming at you, guidance from your guides, from your angels. By the way, when I refer to the universe, I'm referring to the whole conglomeration of my guides, of my angels, of every plant in my environment and every place I go. Because if you allow yourself to tune in, you, you might not hear it in words. You might just feel it in your heart. It's different for each person. I get very strong messages from plants and from animals. And I'll tell you what, they have a whole lot more wisdom than we do. And when you are in tune with them, you're going to do really well. How do you think indigenous cultures survive for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years without damaging the environment, without having the soil getting used up? because they were responding to living in communication with the plants, with the soil. Soil's alive. It's filled with millions, I think it's billions of life forms. Tune into what's already there because the messages are coming at you. If you don't know to look for them, if you don't know to listen for them, if you don't know to feel for them, you know, get to have them hiding you, making your life flow so much easier. When you're creating blocks in your life, when you set a goal and you see yourself approaching and you set a time date on it and you're not going to make it, do you then cut it back, diminish it, make it an easier goal? Would that serve you? That wouldn't even begin to serve you. What that will do is it'll diminish the energy you put into it. It will diminish the love that you have for advancing to what you know in your heart you really want. And when you're giving up on what you know in your heart you really desire as your life, you're going to start backing off. You're going to become one of those people who binge watches on Netflix or Hulu or Disney or I don't even know all of the different forms of video that are out there. But a lot of people will be binge watching. Not only are they binge watching, but they're also got their hand in a bowl of some very definitely not nutritious, very definitely not life-supporting. I'm not even going to call it food, and they're gaining weight. And you can see that clearly in the population. And what happens with a combination of just zoning out, people lose their health, they lose their vitality, they lose their enthusiasm. Life is no longer Oh, this is so wonderful moment to moment. I'm just filled with energy because when I do what I'm loving, what I'm doing, the energy just keeps building and building and building just like it did when you were a kid. You know, bad things do happen in everybody's lives. People get hurt. People get sick. People lose their jobs. People move away from their friends, from their family. Bad things happen. And you can choose what you're going to do about responding to those events. You can choose to be a victim. I don't know why you would do that, because that will crash your health, crash your happiness. But it's your choice what to do when events happen. Events don't have a meaning by themselves. When I was attacked, and suffered a brain injury. And there were 16 different types of doctors on my medical team, 16 different types of practices. And you know what they all said? 
Learn to live with it. This is as good as it gets. You're not going to get better. Well, I wasn't about to learn to live with something that I had to talk myself into wanting to make it through each day. So I got out of my own way and I let myself be open. That's the first time I was more keenly aware of messages coming into my world. How are the messages coming? There's no such thing as a chance meeting. I'd meet somebody who had a skill and they knew somebody who had a different skill, who had a different skill and on and on. And everything came together and I got better. It took a few years of going from one person to the other and one modality to the other. But I got better when I was told, forget it, it's not going to happen. When I was part of a group for people with brain injuries who had no interest in getting better. You can get away with a lot of stuff when you have a brain injury and it's hard to do things. But you don't have to. See, when I got better and I knew what I did, and I went into that group and I said, I know exactly what I did. I can tell you exactly. I can support you in feeling better and functioning better. And not even one person said, yes, yes, I'll work with you. Not one. When crisis happens in your life and crises will, are you going to take the lesser path? Are you going to finally tune in? Those messages are coming nonstop from all these energies in your environment. And you know where a lot of those messages are coming from? Your own physical body. 10% of the cells in your body are human. And all of the rest of the trillion cells, they're single cell things, bacteria, virus, a fungus. And the wisdom they have, they all coordinate with each other and they allow you to have a very vital lifetime win. And if you choose to tune in and to listen, you've heard from me, from other people, nothing happens to you, it happens for you. Grant Cardone takes it a step further. He says, everything happens because of you. So that if you were in a car accident, he's saying, well, you could have chosen to leave your house 10 minutes earlier or 10 minutes later. I remember a very vivid example of that. I was on the 95 corridor and the Northeast U.S., where people go very fast, and there's usually very much traffic. And I was back just far enough because I had chosen to leave a few minutes later. And a car spun out of control and crashed into all the cars that were around it in the other lanes. And I was far enough back to avoid it all. Now, what if I had chosen to leave one minute sooner? I might have been one of the cars getting hit. Those are the kinds of choices we're making, mostly out of our awareness. And we can also make choices within our awareness. When you think about things that are out of your control, things like a hurricane, another example that Grant Cardone gives is well, you didn't, yeah, you're losing the electricity or you're losing your heat, but you know what you could have done? You could have taken steps ahead of time and set up a generator. Well, that's okay if you live on land because you need that to be 30, 40 feet away from your house for safety purposes. That's not going to work if you're living in an apartment someplace. But his point is, Always be aware of other choices because everything in life, every big thing and every little thing offers you a choice of how to take your next step. Some choices 
are more difficult to make than others. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and you are joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Join our Facebook group, and you can make a new friend. You can ask questions. You can find the extras that go in there along with the show every week. You can go over to our show page. What's on our show page? The ability to listen to or watch any of our episodes. And if you're ready and curious, follow my link. Because Audible's giving you a free trial, 30 days to look around. There's stuff in there you will not find anyplace else. Plus, you get to download an audiobook of your choice. When you support our community, it supports me in being able to continue to bring the show to you every week. So four more weeks, we'll be bringing you our third anniversary, three-year anniversary, starting our fourth season. Thank you so very much for being with us today. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life happens outside of you. Everything happens within your body, where all those electrical impulses get interpreted into what you see, hear, taste, touch, smell. I look forward to being here with you next time.